This video intended for educational purposes. Hey guys, it's Adam, aka Swimming Bird, and welcome back for another Minecraft 1.8 snapshot. This is 14w27b, and I've been having fun playing around with the brand new bunny rabbit mobs we showed off in last week's snapshot video. The Minecraft community has been coming up with a lot of awesome ways to make these little guys even better, and I've got a few to show off today, but first... I need to get some revenge on the dreaded killer rabbit of Kerbanog. This rare little monster hits as hard as the Wither Boss, but with only five hearts, he's still relatively easy to take down. However, a viewer by the name of Dandaman messaged me about a way to make them even scarier and more like their movie counterpart from Monty Python the Holy Grail, and here he comes. Oh, jeez. Ah, ah, got me. Oh, man. He already killed me. I'm going to put on some iron armor and go into F5 so you guys can see this even better. It's really terrifying and fairly simple to do. Here we go. He even knocked the skin off of me. Hello, buddy. Let's go. Ah, jeez. Ah, <laughs> he's jumping around. He's got me. Ah, it won't take too many hits even with iron armor on. I'm going to run into his cave and try to escape him, but I can't get away. If you go within four blocks of this guy, you are just dead. So the way to do this is fairly simple. It's actually only a few little commands. You set up a scoreboard, and it's fairly simple here. You just do scoreboard, objectives, add, and then you do a command called killer, and then make it a dummy command. This is uh, just to make it so there's a thing to put points into. And then down here, I've got this set up with a little comparator, and it's only three commands going, repeated over and over again. It's basically a way to make it so that the bunny, when it jumps in the air and it's a killer rabbit, it will actually teleport to the nearest player right at their head and keep attacking them, just like the bunny in the movie would fly towards the head of any of the knights that tried to kill him. And it works really well. It hops them around and <laughs> definitely makes them a lot deadlier. They hit so much faster when they use this. I'll put all these commands in the description as well as a link to Dandaman's video. But it's really cool. I hope this gets added to vanilla. I know that the developers like to look at community-made features and they add a lot of them into the game. So that's my hope. Now I was thinking about these little killer rabbits and they are very rare. One in 1,000 to find and they don't really have that great of a reward. Sometimes they'll drop the lucky rabbit foot or the raw meat or anything like that, the hide, but it's the same as a normal rabbit's drops. Man, he was getting me even in creative mode there. So I think these guys should have some type of rare drop. Now, someone suggested maybe four lucky rabbit's feet are guaranteed to drop from it. I think it could be even better. Uh, a couple other people said maybe if the rabbit attacks a player, their head will drop on the ground when they die. I think that would just amount to a rabbit being captured on a server and a bunch of people just line up and file in to get killed to get their head. I think it should be that if you go up to a rabbit and it kills you, it stores the last player that it killed, and it, if you kill it after that, it will drop the head of that player. That way, if you find one and it kills you, you can come back, kill it in revenge, and get your head. So that would be a cool little reward, and it wouldn't amount to people just saving the rabbits in different areas. There's a few features about these guys that I didn't mention before. If you want to summon one, it's fairly easy. Just do summon, rabbit, and then do the little tildes for coordinates, and make sure the rabbit type is 99. You can change this to 0, 1, or one, it's basically 0 through 6 to get any of the other rabbit types, and then you can do 99 to get one of these guys. So if you want the killer rabbit, that's how you do it. If you try to grab a name tag with any name, doesn't matter what the name is, if you try to click a rabbit with it, it will just name it the killer rabbit of Carabinog. It will just automatically do it if it's one of these killer bunnies. So that's pretty cool. All right, now we're going to fly over here. You can see one of these guys already. This is a dinner bunny, a dinner bone bunny. So he's flipped upside down. The dinner bone and grum name on name tags will do this to any mob, but it looks really funny with the rabbits. They're like hopping using their ears. Now, Silver Tuxedo on Reddit suggested a new type of mob, kind of like the chicken jockey, but it's a bunny jockey. <laughs> it would be really cute if we had the little baby zombies riding rabbits around like little rabbit bunny knights. Now, if you make it ride with a command, it will actually just kind of position it a little weird, but this is how you do it if you wanted to add one. And uh, so they were weirdly positioned. If they got fixed like the chicken jockeys did, they would look a lot better. Over here, I've got a dinner bone uh, bunny jockey there, and then even a killer rabbit of Carabinog bunny jockey hopping around. So look out for those. But yeah, these would be really cool to have added into the game as well. There is so much they can do with these little rabbits, and they're very exciting. I thought they were going to be a very peaceful mob and uh, not have that many uses, maybe be ambient. But they're one of the most useful mobs we've gotten in a long time. I'm probably even more excited about these guys than the Guardian. That's why I really want this killer rabbit to have a good drop, make you have some reason to go exploring. Maybe even a cool little uh, 
area that could be spawned. I built this myself, but if have it, if you had like a cave that spawned, or maybe even have them more ca spawn more frequently in caves, would be pretty cool to see. So thank you guys for watching. We're gonna have another snapshot update very soon, and I'll be covering that. If you missed all the stuff about bunnies, or even the guardians and underwater ocean temples, check out the previous snapshot videos. Thank you guys as always for watching and going with my snapshot update videos. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time for more Minecraft Snapshot Updates.